This massive storm is ripping through the Caribbean right now. It just started to hit the Dominican Republic. Pictures tell the story. This is from hurricane hunters flying through the eye of the hurricane. Joining us now from 45,000 feet in the air is NOAA Hurricane Hunters Flight Director, Paul Flaherty. Paul, can you hear us? Yes, I can. So, uh, what do you learn from being in the center of this particular storm? Uh, well, we have airplanes that are both in the center and also outside of the storm. I'm on the aircraft outside of the storm right now. We're uh, really focusing on understanding what the steering currents are going to do with this storm. Uh, as you can see, that's a bit of a nightmare right now for a lot of people on the ground, and we want to make sure we get the right people out of the way at the right time. What's your best sense at this point, and we know we keep telling the audience things change, do you think this storm is going to continue on its current trajectory and hit Florida? Uh, well, uh, as a Floridian right now, um, I, I can only say to get everyone in that area prepared. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm over in Tampa, and my family's ready to go up the east, even though uh, we've seen the uh, general uh, path shift a little bit to the east. We are still going to be prepared, and we want everyone in Florida uh, and everyone up through the Carolinas to be prepared, because if you don't prepare now, you won't have time when we know you have to go. Fair point. And what you're seeing in that storm in terms of steering currents leads you to believe there's still a good chance it hits the Florida Peninsula. Uh, well, it has a good chance. Uh, there's a lot of probabilities in play here, and the models uh, are starting to agree more. And uh, hopefully as we fly, we can collect more data that will force the models to agree and, uh, and uh, give us a really good probability of where the storm will go. Paul, one personal note. When you first decided, yes, I want to be someone who flies into the middle of a hurricane, what was that like, that decision, when you actually acted on it the first time? <laughs> yeah, that's a question I get a lot. Uh, I guess I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into it when it first happened. It, it's more the reactions of others uh, when I say what I do that really uh, brings the reality to the job. But uh, it's an amazing job. We don't ever want there to be hurricanes like this. But uh, if there is, and we uh, have a role to play to make sure people get out of the way, and uh, I'll come out here and do it every day if I have to. What stands out to you about Irma? We know that people who look at these space uh, shots of it are impressed by its formation and its eye. How about you as someone who flies through so many? Well, yeah, I've been doing this job for 15 years, and I've seen a lot of the big storms from 04 and 05. Uh, this one has absolutely gone uh, rank up there. Uh, in the end, it really comes down to the destruction the storm causes. That's what's really going to uh, mark the history of the storm. Uh, we can't do much for property except help people get it prepared, but we can get them out of the way. And, and uh, we just want to make sure that everyone knows the reason we're out here is so they can listen to the NOAA National Hurricane Center and their emergency managers because we're not out here for fun. We're out here to uh, save some lives, and we just want people to listen to those uh, who tell them uh, what they should do. It's nothing fun about what you're doing, that's for sure. Thank you for the service. We're going to check back with you a couple of times during the show and see what kind of data you're collecting uh, and what that leads you to believe about this storm. Please stay safe. I'll check back with you in a little bit, Paul. Thank you.